Hi, I'm going to talk about mental health in regards to animal cruelty and vegans. Now, I have a graduate degree in mental health, and my wife has a graduate degree and works as a psychologist in forensic psychology and for homeless and mentally ill. Um, so we have some good experience in this. I'm going to use the DSM-5 to do some diagnosis of common traits of those who are cruel to animals and vegans. Um, now, obviously, this is not a clinical study, but this is with use of the criteria in the DSM-5, the Diagnostic Statistical Manual. Um, so mental health, I don't want to stigmatize it. Everyone has mental health issues. Yes, everyone, from anger issues to ADHD, OCD, specific, specific phobias, like to needles, spiders, heights, crowds. We all have anxieties. Some people have sleep-wake disorders, hoarding, sexual-related ones is ED or addiction. So not all of them are terribly bad, per se, but um, they are of concern. Now, for vegans, a lot of them have a lot of good empathy, which is a good thing. But it also can lead to things like acute stress disorder or PTSD, similar to what we see in people who experience accidents or traumatic incidences. Now, it doesn't meet the criteria, but seeing a video of, say, a factory farm or a fur farm can trigger the same symptoms of PTSD long term. Um, seeing animals being castrated, tail or ear docked, branded, debeaked, drugged, living in tiny cages and suffering, um, they can have reoccurring thoughts about it even nightmares. So that would be a sign of acute stress disorder or PTSD. And some can have even depression. Um, but the empathy is a good thing and a good sign of wellness mentally. Um, now for the actual brain health, there's dietitians, veganhealth.org, like omega-3s, which also can be found in walnuts, chia seed, flax seed, hemp seed, if you want to do no fish, um, which is perfectly fine. Um, now, for meat eaters or animal cruelty, some have signs of, according to DSM-5, of pika. Pika is eating non nutritive substances. You could claim that and being junk food or unhealthy even animal products, which many are, um, it's a stretch, but you could make those claim. P Pika is eating non-nutritive substances, usually. Um, now, you also can look at narcissistic personality disorder, code 301.81. Its definition is self-importance, superiority to others, or speciesism, value one species over another, fantasies of power, they're special, have entitlement, lack empathy, take advantage of others, can't identify with the feelings or needs of others. That's narcissistic personality disorder. I think people who know about extreme animal cruelty like factory farms and still support it certainly exhibit that trait or those symptoms. The other one is conduct disorder in a DSM-5. Um, code 312.34, aggression to people or animals. Yes, aggression to people or animals. Paying people to do it and you know that it's happening could definitely fall under that. Bullying, threatening, holding grudges, cruelty to animals, supporting it, paying people to do it, supporting it knowingly, even dishonesty, lies, and lack of remorse or guilt. That's conduct disorder. Substance-related disorders, such as addiction in the DSM-5, that would fall under unspecified because people treat animal products like it's an addiction. Cheese, some people say they're addicted to cheese. They can't stop. Like, 
they're just addicted to animal products and that's the reason why they won't change. And they have withdrawal symptoms. And that brings us to fictitious disorder, fictitious, 300.19. Um, it's a false symptoms and a, or by a proxy or a friend. I always hear myself or a friend nearly died from being vegan after a week or they got very sick after a week from being vegan. It's very deceptive behavior or it's a mental condition or paranoia. You cannot get sick in a week for one. Um, and, and that's even if you're eating a horrible diet, you're not gonna get sick within a week. And we live longer on average vegetarian than vegan. So it's not even true in most cases, but we hear that often. Um, and then people have defense mechanisms for their ego, super ego, and id, where they will attack a messenger or lash out at someone. And that brings us to intermittent explosive disorder. I was once protesting a rodeo and I had someone jump out of the car and tackle me to the ground and try to assault me from behind for no reason. Like that is definitely an anger management issue um, of that rodeo person and some of them would run, try to run over our, our, my supplies or my stuff on the, my book bag on the ground or whatever. So these people obviously have anger issues um, at, when I was protesting the rodeo. And that brings us to sexual machoism disorder. That is like humiliating others, beating them, bounding them, or causing them to suffer. Again, those all could be factory farms, caging of humiliating them, taking advantage of them. But uh, this is ex exceptionally evident with trophy hunting men. Yes, they will pose with their dead kill and hang a picture or hang the head on the wall or take pictures smiling with a dead elephant or a dead animal of any sorts. That is definitely a sign of being a psychopath as well, as many serial killers start out abusing animals too. So yes, vegans have some mental health concerns, as I said, like depression, acute stress disorder, or PTSD, as well as meat eaters like PICA, narcissistic personality disorder, conduct disorder, substance-related addictive disorders, fictitious disorders, intermittent explosive disorder, or sexual machoism in some cases, those. We all have disorders. Like I said, I'm not trying to stigmatize it. I'm trying to bring attention to it. Um, whether it's anger, ADHD, OCD, specific phobias like needles, spiders, heights or big crowds, anxieties, sleep-wake disorders, hoarding, sexual is ED, that we all have mental health concerns. Some of them are more alarming than others when they adversely affect the health and well-being of others. So just want to bring attention to this and please share, share your thoughts in a professional type manner and respectful of others. Thank you.